Well, my friends, it's happening. California is collapsing as the population in the state has fallen for the first time in history. As many people flee the state due to rising taxes, unemployment, and failed Democrat policies. And you know what the funniest part is? The Biden administration is blaming Trump. Whoops. What the hell? Aw, screw it. I swear the Russians hacked the stairs. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today I want to talk about the total collapse of California, as well as the rising unemployment in the United States and Biden's plan to spend even more money. But before we do, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications for more content. Smash that like button and comment down below. Sharing the video also helps a ton, a ton, a ton. And now for a quick word from our sponsor. Introducing Virtue Signal the Card Game. Virtue Signal is a card game parody of social justice activism. In Virtue Signal, you play as one of 12 different social justice warriors trying to get NPCs to win the game, including cards such as Wax My Balls, Bigot. The game is available for $29.98, and even features yours truly, Mr. Obvious, in one of the expansion packs. But you can get it all for only $54.98, the whole game, and 410 cards. Get yours today by clicking on the link down below. And we're back. So here we are on the Daily Mail. California's population drops for the first time ever, as state officials blame the decline of 182,000 people on Trump's immigration restrictions. When in doubt, blame the orange man. But make no mention of residents fleeing to live elsewhere in the US. Now I want you to understand how incredible these statistics are. California is facing a total collapse of its population for the first time in history, simply because there are more people living, leaving the state than are actually coming into the state. Now this is very dramatic, when you consider the fact that California is literally the prime target for people entering this country unlawfully. You know, there's the migration crisis, there's the crisis at the border, and guess what? Even with an influx of hundreds of thousands of people, probably millions every year, the population is going down. That means that people are running away from California faster than they can replenish. This is unheard of, but I think I know why, folks. Let's find out what they think. The article says, state officials announced on Friday that California's population dropped 0.46% to just under 39.5 million people between January 2020 and January 2021. They even recently lost a congressional seat, meaning they lost some of their, I believe their delegates or their representation as a state simply because their population fell too low. That is insane. They literally now have less political power. Now I want you to look at the following chart. This shows you California's population and growth rate from 2000 to 2021, 20 years, two decades. So you can see that in the year of 2000, California's population growth rate was at an all time high, roughly one point, I don't know, like four, 1.3%. And you can see that the population of California has steadily gone up over time. However, you can see that as the years have passed, from 2000 to 2021, 20 years, two decades, the rate of growth has fallen dramatically and is now at an all-time low, with the population falling for the first time ever. Now, what does this mean and why is it happening? I think it's simple. It's the Democrats' failed policies. You see, California is a blue state, a state run by Democrats, and those Democrats have done everything in their power to run the state into the ground. First issue is taxes. Democrats simply tax people way too much. And let's talk about how those taxes are spent here on the Daily Mail, an exclusive inside the California hotels housing hundreds of migrant families who are provided with free meals, free clothing, and even free transportation to their final destination. Under 500,000 500,000, I say again, 500,000 a month government scheme. These Democrats and the Biden administration are spending 500 
thousand dollars a month on government funded schemes to house illegal migrants. Five hundred thousand a month. Keep in mind that America has homeless veterans who are suffering. And if you want to help homeless veterans, by the way, check out my sponsor, Hero Soap Company. A proceed of all donations goes to helping homeless veterans. Subscribe and you get a discount and you're helping a good cause, chemical free, all that good stuff. Here's my point. Why would you want to live in a blue state under the Democrats with high taxes, high unemployment, and all these other problems, rising crime, when the government is going to take your tax dollars and give them and give it to people who are not even in America lawfully? I really disagree with allowing people to come to the United States. We already have homeless people. We already have poverty. We can't feed our own children. So why are we feeding other countries' children? It makes no sense. And that's what made Trump's policy of America first so tantalizing. Putting America first should be the number one priority for an American government. It seems like a no-brainer. But this brings us to more of the failures of the Democrats and Biden here on the Daily Mail. Biden claims weak jobs report. For those of you who don't know, um, a job report recently came out showing that not only do we have dramatic unemployment, we actually have more unemployment than ever. People no longer want to work. And according to Biden, as you can see here, Biden claims weak jobs report underscores the need for even more spending. We'll just print infinite money. It's like printing my own money. Even as critics demand he scrap the $300 a week unemployment benefit. Unemployment benefit that pays people more than working. God, okay. So, Democrats just don't get it. They don't understand that their own policies are the reasons that states like California are dying. Because they don't know how to handle the economy. When, a Bi when, when Biden and the Democrats try to do a solution, their solution is simply to spend more money. Where is that money coming from? Literally nowhere. It's coming from thin air because the Fed, the Federal Reserve, is printing money. They're just printing money, printing money. There's people out there who are like, well, why can't they just print more money? Well, the more money you print, the more it devalues your currency because there's now more currency. It's called inflation. Zimbabwe did a similar thing where the government just printed trillions of dollars to make everybody rich. And now a trillion dollars in Zimbabwe is like, what, a hundred bucks? You could wipe your butt with Zimbabwe bills. That's how worthless the currency is. It's worth less than the paper it's printed on. And that's where America's headed, folks. So Biden says that no, we need, to, we need to spend more money. So critics have been saying that the reason that unemployment is so bad, partially because of fear from the virus, but also because currently you can make more money collecting unemployment than actually working a job. I'm pretty sure you've seen this picture by now, but it is a picture of a sign at a McDonald's drive-thru, and it says, we are short staffed. Please be patient with the staff that did show up. No one wants to work anymore. See, the Democrats have basically normalized giving people money and just printing the money out of thin air. Meanwhile, who do you think is paying the bill? The American worker. If you're working a full-time job and actually contributing to society, the government is stealing your money, giving it to the unemployed, giving it to migrants, and what do you get? Absolutely nothing. You just get the bill. You're just forced to pay all that money to people who don't want to work and people who want to just come to this country. It's that simple. So gee, what's the real reason that California is dying and people are fleeing from the state? It's these ridiculous policies by our politicians who are taxing us to death while blaming us for all of the, the, like the pandemic and everything, and then taking all of our money. Well, you know what, folks? I refuse. I'm not going to live in one of these blue states. I'm not going to get taxed to death. Forget you. Biden, shove it up your bum. I'm not going to stand by while you just print money and spend. Enough is enough. But that, my friends, is merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know down below in the comment section. As always, support the channel by joining me on Patreon or Subscribestar. 
Unlike other channels, this channel is currently not monetized. I rely on viewers like you. Joining will give you access to a private Discord server called Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is, you don't talk about Fight Club. Anyhow, thanks for watching, share the video, and I'll see you all next time.